Hey guys, whatever is up? Today we're going to talk about netizens speculating about NCT Hechan and its Ryujin dating. And Hypers Labour believed this respects Muslims and some Jia exclusive interview with Dispatch. So without wasting your time, let's quickly dive in. First, let's talk about Korean netizens speculating about Hechan and Ryujin dating. As you guys know, JYP and SM idols really often communicate with their fans on an app called Bubble. A netizen created a post on January 9th, which gained a lot of attention for posting messages from both Hechan and Ryujin. As shown in the screenshot, Hechan and Ryujin are seen using the same word in their messages to fans on the platform. Both elongated the word sweet in the phrase sweet dreams. Netizens are speculating their relationship as this wasn't the first time Hechan and Ryujin were seen using the same word on Bubble. They are claiming the overlapping words are too unusual to be completely coincidental. Previously, Hechan and Ryujin used the term egg flour to describe cooking eggs in ramen noodles. Some of the top comments under the post are If they are not dating, they should at this point lol. The way they elongated the word is in common. Just let them date LMAO. It's weird to think they aren't dating at this point. There are plenty of other articles on Naver. If you search the word, are they dating too? SMH. What do you guys think? Do you think Hechan and Yuji are dating? Let me guys know quickly in the comments. Moving on, Enhypo's label is not under heavy backlash after Enhypo's Jake was seen wearing the necklace. Fans, after checking the necklace, discovered that it's called the Ala Pendant, which was available in white and gold. Many Muslim fans called out believed and their stylists for using their religion as an aesthetic and are urging believed as well as Jake to apologize for their actions. After heavy backlash, the website who used to sell those necklaces have removed them from their site. However, I've seen the fans being divided about if an hypers Jake should apologize or not. Many are saying that he had nothing to say and it's mainly the stylist's fault. Meanwhile, others say that not only believed their stylist, but also Jake has to apologize. Fans have also found out that NCT members were also wearing the same necklaces. Here are some of the comments. Please do not react lightly on this matter. And Hypen has many international fans, which also includes Muslim engineers. So please, this will not cost you a billion to do. We'd be very grateful and at peace if you could apologize and learn from it. Thank you. It's not Jake's fault, but it was his stylist's fault that he had Jake wear the necklace. I'm so mad at this stylist. Explain this, please. My religion is not for your aesthetic. Respect my religion, please. Now, I personally believe that we should support Muslim and Hypen fans and help them reach believed because they do deserve an apology. And if believed won't apologize, then I think this will actually show their true colors. Next, let's talk about Song Jia and her fake designer controversy. She recently held an interview with Dispatch exposing the truth behind her scandal. Jia showcased more than 500 luxury brand products in her YouTube videos and Instagram posts combined and 20 items were accused of being dupes. Dispatch in acquired authentication of those 20 items to Korea Appraisal Institute of Luxury Goods. According to the official appraisal, 12 out of 20 items in the collection turned out to be authentic luxury items, as shown in the pictures which means only 8 of the items were fake. Jia apologized again at the end of interview, saying she didn't think through before she came into the eye of the public. She said, I have no excuses. It's what I've done. I didn't think twice before wearing them. I just thought they were pretty. I understand the sentiment, so I'm just sorry. Throughout the interview, Dispatch commented on the controversy as being unnecessarily overheated. 
Now, BTS Jimmy felt sudden abdominal pain along with a mild sore throat on January 30, so he decided to visit the closest emergency room of a nearby hospital where he received a PCR test and other examinations. It was then discovered that not only he had tested positive for C19, but also acute appendicitis. He received appendicitis surgery in the early morning of January 31st. According to the medical staff, the operation went well and Jimin is currently resting and recovering. As they said, he is expected to be hospitalized for the first time being due to the combination of C19 pendicitis surgery. He is currently experiencing a mild sore throat, but it is improving. Anyways, that is it for today. Let me guys know what do you think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel for more. Bye!